Hi everybody, Jay here from Kong and Water again, and we're going to be testing the ORP as well as the pH of Propel. Propel is going to fit into um, the category of all those sports drinks that we're putting into our body on a regular basis, not a daily basis for most of us, but um, it's going to fit the category of Gatorade and Powerade and vitamin water, and we're thinking, you know, we're being athletes and we're being healthy when we're taking this stuff in. A lot of times we don't need it. Um, we're not athletes, a vast majority of us. When we go to the gym, we're working out or if we go for a run, but we're not really needing to replenish um, everything we need. And I would hate to break it to you, but a lot of the athletes aren't really drinking Gatorade either. Um, they know it's not really good for you, um, aside from endorsements and the money that they get. Um, they're drinking other stuff to get what they need to be hydrated, and there's a good reason for that. So let's get into the testing. So once again, ORP meter, basically if it's a high number and it's a high positive number, it's oxidizing to the body, creating free radicals, oxidation is aging, it's sickness, it's a bunch of bad stuff that we don't want. If it's a negative number, it's actually providing it, um, antioxidants into our body, eliminating those free radicals, flushing them out of our cell systems, and getting our body to a state where it needs to be in order to do what it does best, and that's be healthy. That's what our body wants to do. What's funny about this Propel is it actually claims to be an antioxidant, and we're going to put it to the test, and we're going to see if that's really the case. Just clean water in the middle again, just filtered, and let's see what we get. It's not an antioxidant. 400, uh, usually runs between 400 and 450. Very, 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 very um, oxidizing to the body. Free radicals galore. Consume this and um, you'll be sick in no time, I promise. And not only that, it's got a ton of sugar in it. Just not good for you. Rinse the probe off. Let's get into our Kangen water, 9.5, just made out of the machine. And that's what we want. That's where we want to be. That's the antioxidant property. That's the hydration property. That's what we need to be putting into our body after a workout. Not Gatorade, not Powerade, not vitamin water. Let's get water into our body. Um, that's what we've been drinking since we've been on this planet. That's what we need, and this is the best form of it. So, now that we got that done, I'm just going to actually turn off this meter, and you're going to get a two for one. Because this is a clear liquid, I can actually show you the pH of it, and I have a little chart right up here. And as you can see, one side is acidic, one side is alkaline. If you didn't pay attention in chemistry, I'm going to break it down to you because I didn't either, and it makes sense. Right in the middle is neutral, and on the scale it goes from 0 to 14, 7 being neutral. Each step in any direction is 10 times the previous step. So stay with me. If 7 is neutral, and if something is an 8, that's 10 times more alkaline because 8 and above is going in the alkaline direction. If it's a 6, and we started at 7, the 6 would be 10 times more acidic. If something is acidic to the body, it's just not good. The body doesn't like acidity. Um, the blood pH is somewhere between 7.2 and 7.4. We have to stay in that line. If we're dumping acidic stuff into us all the time, we're forcing our body to do something with the acidic waste. It's storing it in our fat cells. It's putting it into our joints, arthritis, gout in our uh, leg joints. Most of, this of the diseases that we get and are prevalent in our culture is our body doing what it needs to do to make us live. I mean, that's what it wants to do. It wants to keep us healthy and alive. And unfortunately, we bombard it with bad stuff a lot of the time. And that's the best coping mechanism that it has because we're not doing anything to counteract it on our own. So I just have some pH drops here. If you have a pool or a spa or a fish tank or anything like that, you, you're testing the pH level of your water and you want to get it to a certain level. So we're just going to put a few drops in each of these. And there we go. I'm going to swirl these around as to not make a mess. And the Propel bottle is going to go. So here we go. Let, let's compare it to our charts. So as we can see up here, very acidic. Very bad. In fact, this is about a 3. So if we're doing our math from 7 to 3, 7 to 6 is 10. 6 to 5 is 100. 5 to 4 is 1,000. And this is right in that range, so it's a, anywhere between 1,000 and 5,000 times more acidic than neutral. Remember, our blood is running between 7.2 and 7.4, so imagine what our body is having to do when we're dumping this in on a regular basis to keep us alive. This is tap water, and this is just filtered, and this is always going to be neutral, right in the middle. And this is our Kangen water. 
just out of the machine, nothing added. It just runs through an electrolysis, and it's just making positive and negative. The acidic part of the water that it's making is being discharged into the sink. The alkaline we're drinking, and we're helping to combat all that acidic um, buildup that we have into our body. So let's do a little bit more. If we take some of this and pour it in, look what we just did. Putting this into our body on a regular basis is counteracting all that acidity that we build up from eating, breathing, um, exercising, anything that we do, we're causing our body to be more acidic. The main thing that we do is we put you know, junk food and Propel and other things in our body, and that's just adding on top of the already naturally producing acidic things that we do. But I'll tell you what, if I could turn that and get it to an alkaline state, can I make it happen with the Propel? And I can't. I would have to take a gallon of the 9.5 Kangen water and add it to a cup of Propel to get it to turn to that royal blue or purple color. The stuff is potent. It's bad. It's up there with pop. Don't put it into your body. The clear choice is Kangen water 9.5. I look forward to your thoughts. Let me know what else you want me to test. Um, if it's a clear liquid, I can easily test the pH, but I can test the ORP of just about anything. So comment below, check out the sites. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.